Hi guys and gals, this is Craig from idiotproofblogging.com and today I'm going to show you how to stop spam from uh, spam emails by using a couple of plugins and creating a contact form. Um, I recommended using a contact form in my free report and I no longer recommend using that contact form. I have a new system and it works really well and hopefully this will help you until I update my report. So let's get started. You want to log into your blog administrative panel, okay? And then scroll down to plugins. And right here, click add new. Okay? Now it says search term. What you're going to type in here is contact form 7 okay contact form 7 search and then click search and let that find it and it says here it is uh, this is the one you want and it's uh, it needs really simple capture form and we're going to install that too but let's not Let's stay on track here. So this is the one, contact form seven, and then install. Click install. And it says install now. Go ahead and click install now. Okay, and it says activate. Now it says installing plugin contact form, blah, blah, blah. And uh, now just click here, activate plugin. Now what you do is you scroll down to plugins again and click add new. And in this box here you type in really simple capture and search. And here it is here. And we're going to put install. Click on install install now now we activate the plugin activate okay now what you want to do is you want to come scroll down here left hand side scroll down and look for contact form go ahead and click on that in your tools menu contact form and now right here it says generate tags we're gonna uh, click on this drop down box go down the capture click on capture now this is fine I don't have to put anything in here it says here copy this code and paste it into the form left form image Okay, so we need to uh, select that, copy, and right, right here, before the submit send tag, we paste that in. And then hit return, and then grab this one uh, for input field. Just select all and copy that, and put that right underneath here. Uh, that's yeah that's fine okay now here scroll down here and type in your mail address here okay your mail address now scroll up to the top and copy this here this code here copy this and paste it into a notepad document you'll need this code in a minute I'll show you why we'll just put that out of the way for now then come down uh, scroll down to the bottom and hit save okay now
You can also click here to save. Okay. Now what we do is we look over here to the left-hand side navigation panel and it says pages. Click on this drop-down window and it says add new. Click on that. Okay. When this loads, give your page a name, which we'll call it contact, contact. Okay. And then right here, it says HTML. Click on that. And right here, you're going to paste in the code that you copied to your notepad. So we're just going to take this code here, copy, and right here, paste. Okay. And then right here, it says publish over to this side it says publish go ahead and click on publish okay now what you do is you see right here it says your blog title here if you click on this link it'll it'll go to your website what we want to do is click on this link to open up in a new tab so in firefox you right click and it says uh, open link in new tab this will allow us to stay within our admin panel and view our website in a new tab. So we'll click on that. And then up here, it says your blog title here. You click on that. And now we have a contact form. Okay. So click on that. And here it is. Here's your contact form. Make sure you test it to make sure it works. So we'll, we'll do a quick test here. Craig, um, I got to give this a different email address. Then down here, you just type in the code C556 and then send. Okay, and it says your message was sent successfully. Thanks. Now you're all done. That's how you do it. You can log out of your, um, your, uh, admin panel your contact forms working it says your message was sent successfully thanks you just you you won't you're going to want to check your email just to make sure it went through and uh if it didn't go through log into your administrative panel appearances go down to contact form seven click on that and make sure where is it contact form seven click on that and make sure this email address is correct. And that's it. There you have it. This is Craig from uh, IdiotProofBlogging.com helping you install your contact form and your capture plugin. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments and I'll chat with you soon.